we have so many empty churches around, I have a challenge for you in just a minute on Pastor Bob Daly. Well, I'm in Colorado Springs today, beautiful. The mountains are behind me, but you can't see them. <laughs> beautiful spot. So, as I'm traveling, and this is day five, I guess, of my road trip, uh, day five of 30 days, um, we go by church after church after church after church. And all of them are used on Sunday morning a few of them are used on Sunday evening, and even fewer of them are used on Wednesday evening. Most of them are sitting completely empty during the week. And I can't tell you how much that frustrates me. You know, Jesus gave us a mandate. And uh, he told us to take care of each other, to feed each other, to clothe each other, to, to, to be Christ for each other. And when I see that many churches have a, a fully functioning kitchen that's huge and could do so much, and yet they only use it once in a while for potlucks, and there are homeless people on the streets that really need food and need cooking. When I see that, you know, we have so many clothes, so many things we don't need, and we could be distributing food as well and clothing, when there are people that sometimes just need to get out of the elements when it's cold or too hot. They could sure use a church basement to sleep in. You know, there are so many ways that we could be using the church, and not only for people on the streets, but for people in the community. You know, to provide other activities, alternative activities. People need to have contact with other people, and that's supposed to be us. So here's my challenge for you, and it's twofold, and I realize it's way over the top. Are you ready? <laughs> First of all, don't let your church be empty. Use it. That's what it's for. You're not being a good steward of your church if you're simply making sure that everything is clean and tidy and unscratched. You are being a good steward of your church if it's getting really used and worn. That's the point. Secondly, don't spend all of your money on just keeping that place going. Spend it on other people. I always challenge my pastor friends to take 50% of the offering and use it outside of the church. Now that would include feeding the homeless, whatever, if you do the cooking in the church and whatever you do, but for things outside of the church community, 50%. If you're spending all of your money to keep a building going and you're not even using it anyway, doesn't it seem a little bit over the top too? Now, I know people are going to argue with me, and I'm going to get a million letters from people telling me, well, my church does this and this, and that's great. But would you take my challenge? I don't think we can ever be busy enough. I don't think we can ever have enough uh, of a presence in our communities. I think we need to do more and more and more all the time. So use our churches, use them during the week. Be a voice in your community and reach out to people in new and sometimes unusual ways. God bless you. Have a great day.